comes Wade to James LeBron with the big dunk. LeBron for making those highlight reel plays. Trying to avoid a virtual best of three with the Brooklyn Nets, LeBron James puts forth perhaps the best game of his postseason career. Yeah, the Nets' Paul Pierce said he was relishing the challenge of guarding James since he asked for it after game one of the series against the Heat. But there wasn't much Pierce or anyone else could do against James on Monday night. After the win in game three, Pierce said the Nets weren't afraid of Miami. James said the Heat is a bulletin board team, but even if he wasn't focused on doing so, he delivered a strong statement Monday with all the stars there to check it out. James for three over Pierce. He was three for six on triples. A few plays later, Pierce drifts away from James, and he goes right to the paint. 12 first quarter points for James during the timeout. Pierce, maybe. A little frustrated. Second quarter, Nets down three. James Jones with the block on Joe Johnson. Wade will get it to James in transition. Big finish. Take another look at this. James skying for the dunk. 25 points in the first half. Also talking to Jay-Z and Beyonce courtside. <laughs> Didn't see Solange at the game. Uh, heat up 56-49 at halftime. Third quarter, Wade gets it to James who drives. Layup and the foul. Pierce said he, he knew James' tendencies focused on keeping him on the perimeter. After a made free throw, the Heat up 65-56. They shot 53%. Then James back outside. 40 points through three. Rest of the Heat with 39. Riding their superstar in the road. Heat up 79-76 after three. Fourth quarter. Wade's pass stolen by Paul Pierce. In transition, Pierce. Bucket and the foul, 16 points for Pierce after a free throw. Nets up 90 to 89 and went back and forth in the fourth. Next heat possession, James from way out there. No conscience, but he's got range. Heat up 92-90. James 16 of 24 from the floor in all. He's at 46. Under three minutes to play, 92 apiece. James spinning and winning. Heat up 94-92. He's at 48. He's such a willing passer, such a skilled passer, that when he draws defenders, he's able to create for others. Chris Bosh, he had been off the mark on a couple of earlier possessions, hits the three-pointer there to put Miami up three. Five seconds to play, Nets down five. Joe Johnson, no. James gets the rebound, and he's fouled, so he's got a chance for a career playoff high, a chance at 50. 48, that'll make 49. Here's the second free throw. Oh, well. You have to be happy with the victory. 14 of 19 from the free throw line. 49 points. Ties a playoff career high. Got it again on just 24 shots. Heat win it 102 to 96 to take a 3 to 1 series lead. They can finish the series with a win at home on Wednesday night. Remember all those threes from game three for Brooklyn. They hit 15 of them in game three. Five for 22 from long range in this game. James 49 matches total from a 2009 Eastern Conference final game against Orlando. His team now a win away from this year's Eastern Conference finals. I felt the need that we needed to win this game. So uh, whatever I needed to do to help us win, then, uh, it needed to be done. And, um, you know, offensively, defensively, you know, being the leader that I am on the floor, just trying to help us um, overcome, you know, any adversity. You know, he's taking over the game like that. He's been aggressive. Uh, he puts so much pressure on the defense. And um, obviously, you know, he leads it. He, he led us to this win tonight. And all everyone had to do outside of that was just chip in, uh, hit timely shots, do timely things when he's going that way. We got to do a better job when he's, you know, driving the ball and bringing another man, making him get rid of the ball. Uh, and tonight, he, you know, he just really uh, forced his way to the hole, and we, we didn't get in his way, and he got a lot of layups. He was what was needed, um, you know, on the road. Um, and, that, and that's what makes him, uh, you know, uh, the best player in the game, whatever's needed. And it could be on either side of the game, and sometimes that means facilitating, and sometimes that means just going out of the box and scoring 49. And the 49 money the most for any player in a playoff game since James with 49 for the Cavaliers against the Magic in that game we mentioned from 2009. It's also the most for the Heat in the postseason, topping Dwayne Wade's 46 points in the first round in 2010. At the same time that I'm in the moment, I understand history. And, uh, you know, to put up 50 in a playoff game, that would have been pretty cool. But at the end of the day, I understand the win is what's the most important. So uh, I have fun. When you got a guy who's, you know, we should have had 50 tonight. When you got him on the offensive end, it makes it easier, you know, to come down and, and get a good look um, because you know so much pressure. Is, I mean, so many, so many eyes is going to go to him. And uh, he was able to pass it out. And, you know, that's why CB hit that big shot.
Uh, things aren't looking good for Brooklyn if history is our indicator. Wednesday, the sixth time in the Big Three era that the Heat will head home for a Game 5 with a chance to close out a series. How have they done in the past? Well, they're perfect 5-for-5 five five with three of the wins by double digits.